Hey guys, it's Christopher and welcome to another Solaris tutorial video. Um, we are going to talk about teletransportation in this episode. Um, I'm going to show you how to transport the hero between two places. Um, it can be on the same map or between two different maps. And there are several mm, ways to do that. Um, we are going to need um, maps um, of houses, dungeons, caves, this kind of stuff. Um, they are in the Solaris uh, Link to the Past resource pack, so if you don't have them you can download the latest version of the resource pack. For example, you have the, the house tile set here, a temple tile set, dungeon, um, cave, and they are all compatible. And in the description of the video, I will put a link to make to um, uh, uh, another store map. You know, you have the inside, the outside store map that we used previously, and we can do the same with um, in inside maps. Um, so, take those files and put them in your maps then declare the map as usual with Solaris Quest Editor and the nice thing is that um, this store map can be used for any tileset any dungeon, temple, house tileset because they are compatible house uh, another dungeon here Temple, Ice Temple, and what else? Cave. Um, okay. So, back to teletransportation. Let's create a new map for this chapter. Actually, we will make several maps in chapter 7, so we're gonna make a folder, chapter 7. Outside one. <coughs> and this will be a very simple map just to show you um, the first things you can do with stair transporters. So let's make a, s a very simple cliff. Okay, destination, which will be the default one to start the game at this place and game manager starting location will be in this chapter, chapter 7 slash um, outside 1. Okay, we can already try that. Well, so teletransporters. Um, you know destination objects, um, but we only used them so far to start the game at some specific location. But the primary role of destinations is to be used as um, our destination place for teletransporters. So let's make a destination that will be used for our very first teletransporters teletransporter um, give a name this time test destination for example mm, maybe you can show a sprite if you want and in the resource pack of A Link to the Past you have the destinations of A Link to the Past and I guess you can recognize, th recognize them then you save the map and create a teletransporter um, when you create a, a teletransporter you have to choose the first destination map so this map by default 
the map that is suggested is the current map and what destination point on that map that's why you needed to save the the file the map file after you created the destination otherwise it doesn't appear so test destination and for teletransporters also you can choose to display a sprite or to keep them invisible and you can also play a sound so the teletransportation sound of Earn to the Past is warp okay and this is an anima animated sprite um, you can show it like any sprite um, teletransporter here there save and let's try that <coughs> okay nice mm. Tele um, destinations have uh, an important property the direction it's the direction that is applied to the hero when he arrives on this destination. In our case, we want to keep the same direction. Because otherwise, the hero is will, will face down even if he takes a teletransporter to the right like that. Okay, this is correct. So, this is a. Uh, a first kind of teletransportation a teletransporter that sends on a destination entity on the same map now let's do the same but to go on another map so we'll create a cave mm. cave entrances are here okay and new map chapter 7 slash um, cave oops cave and choose the tile set so cave music cave music and thanks to the inside store you don't even have to spend a lot of time you can choose you can copy paste an existing room in the store even though the tile set is different when I say they are compatible this means that you can copy paste from a first tile set to a different tile set and it works because um, all tiles have exactly the same names for example this one is called wall.corner.1 and the same in house Ah. or in any inside dungeon have has the same name I have memory problems with my quest editor on, on this virtual machine I'm not sure why and uh, don't forget to make that Okay, um, this floor is not really adapted for caves. In Unctopus Caves, it's rather um, this floor, normally. Okay. <coughs> um, let's just add an entrance to our map. I should have one. So you can pick a normal door if you want. Uh, I think it should work on, on a cave, in a cave, yes. Or you can also pick um, a really nice dungeon decorated door, um, th which is this one, but it doesn't really exist in house, so um, let's get back to. Um, I think it was this one selected initially. Copy, paste. 
Okay. This really looks like a dungeon. Anyway, that's not the topic. Destination. So when the player goes from the outside map to here, he will arrive at this point and he needs to face up. We can name this destination. Well, if it's the only destination ever on the map, you don't really have to give it a name. And you can also uh, set it as the default destination if you have several destinations. But you know that this one, uh, you, you want to make a teleporter, I mean a teletransporter, um, without specifying a, a destination. There is an, an option here default destination if you want but when you have several TS1 transporters um, destinations I recommend to always give a name so this one is a destination that comes from outside so I will call it from outside and no sprite this time it will be invisible <coughs> Okay, um, then you can create a trail transporter here to chapter 7 cave and destination point from outside. <coughs> okay, it works. Uh, right now the player can go under the door here and then um, he can fall actually <laughs> um, below the ceiling here um, because if you don't show the high layer you can see what happens player can come here and then here and that's not what you want so don't forget to block the hero even if we will put a teletransporter because you never know if you make one day an item an equipment item that allows the player to jump um, maybe he could avoid the teletransporter depending on the jump movement that you set so um, I block the hero here and here and here he is automatically blocked by the border of the map um, outside we're gonna need a destination that comes from the cave and direction is down, ok that's what we want Destination map outside, destination point from cave. No sound and no sprite. Oops. Okay, it works. Um, I haven't talked about transitions yet. You can also choose the kind of transition between the transporter and, and the destination. You have, for example, by default it's fade out and fade in. You can also choose immediate transition, but it will really re look weird. Wait. <coughs> it will look weird between two different maps. But sometimes, maybe for some kind of puzzles, you want to do that in the same map. Like that. It's funny, isn't it? But maybe you will remove the sound. But in two different between two different maps, it really <laughs> looks weird. So, um, fade in fade in 
um, and you also have scrolling but scrolling can only be used should only be used um, on the border of a map to scroll between two adjacent maps if you try to do it like that it will it won't crash but it will look weird you have some kind of scrolling but that's not that's not correct okay so let's try uh, real scrolling this time we are gonna make a second outside map that's why the first one was called outside one chapter 7 outside 2 Uh, still light world same music overworld yes I'm just copy pasting just want to copy and paste the cliff make a diagonal wall so that both maps are a little bit different from each other okay that's all we need the second map will be um, on the right of the first map so to do that make a teletransporter and resize it by the way you can resize any teletransporter um, if you want but most of the time 16 by 16 is ok if you resize this one it will it will not be very correct because it has a sprite and the sprite makes 16 by 16 um, destinations cannot be resized because it doesn't make any sense oops no <laughs> so I was saying um, make a teletransporter on the border of the map and resize it to occupy the whole border of course you can also just do like this because the player is not supposed to go uh, on this part of the map but um, I prefer to make to occupy the whole space before because maybe one day we will change our map and maybe the player will be able to go there so it's more simple to do like that and put it um, on the put it just outside the border not inside like this but outside and it will be activated when the player touches the border contrary to usual tra tra transporter that are activated when the player is on the teletransporter okay and then uh, you're gonna want to put a scrolling transition destination map will be outside 2 and destination point side of the map this is a special destination point that works with with a scrolling and then you do the same on the on your second map destination map outside one destination point side of the map and the mo the um, engine automatically detects the appropriate side of the map um, because in this case since the teletransporter is on the right of the map you will be transported on the left of the second map okay it works so there are other kind of teletransportations that we haven't seen in this chapter but we'll see them um, in another episode if you have questions don't hesitate. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.